Hi everyone. Welcome to Linda's Creative Life. I am finally going to be able to share my home for a bunny journal. Uh, it has taken me so long and that's because um, I have not been working on it consistently um, due to some health issues. But I am so glad I am this far along, so I've decided that I'm going to share it with you as it is. So this is the cover. This was the soft cover that I found on the Home for the Bunny. It's a uh, Dolly Parton Imagination Library issue of a golden book, but I didn't have the golden book. So um, I wanted to use the cover, and I made a spine, and I covered it with paper. And this is the back, and I made two signatures. And I think um, next time I would use cloth. I had a lot of trouble getting all of this to glue together, but it was a learning experience. So here we go, I'm gonna open it up. So um, the book had little pockets, and so I just covered them with paper covered the inside with paper and this was my first signature and um it will be i don't know i, I haven't decided exactly what i'm going to do with this but i think it's going to be a memory um journal i'm going to get some old pictures of my children when they were young um easter pictures and stuff and so i will journal there um about you know what i want to do with this and i added some little bunny stickers and so um, that is just remember, because if it is a memory thing, I want to be able to put, you know, some memories in here. So this was the first page. I left the story intact because um, it's so cute. So I added a little bow to the bunny right there. <laughs> I know, that's silly, but I did. So this was originally um, first issued in 1956, this Home for a Bunny book. And uh, Margaret Wise Brown and illustrated by Garth Williams. And these are just adorable. So here we go. So I reinforced the um, Golden Book pages with washi tape. And so this is a frog page. And so I just, um, this was some, um, boy, I'm having trouble. <laughs> I'm sorry today. Um, this was some scrapbook paper, and so I just like the colors of it. It was plain on the back, so I did uh, ink and water and just kind of swirled it around. This page, I haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna do, but it, it could be for journaling. I could add some photos in it. And so, spring, 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 sang the frog, spring, said the groundhog. Spring, 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 said the rang, sang the robin. It was spring. The leaves burst out, the flowers burst out, and robins burst out of their eggs. It was spring. So here's another piece of the scrapbook paper. I just added a little sunflower. And this was the back side of the, um, where I did the ink. And I really like the colors with the bluebirds. <laughs> so we will, you know, there'll be lots of stuff added. This is the center of the first signature. And here's the bunny. There were lots of butterflies in this because it's spring. So I added more butterflies and I tied it. And um, if I can find some cute little charms or something, I will add them to this. Here's the next page. Because the bunny is looking for his home, I added another bow. <laughs> I just liked it. There's another one of the ink things. Here's the robin. The Mama Robin in her nest with her babies. And um, on this page, I made a little belly band with some matching paper that matched the back. And I added this with a little bird on it, this little card. And it can either be a journaling card or pictures or something. On this side, I added a butterfly because there's butterflies and the rabbit you know, and you can see when I did the inking, some of it leaked under the page and got all over this one. I kind of like it. <laughs> it's kind of grungy and different, you know, not perfect. And there's the bunny. I didn't do much with this page, but I liked the green. This is um, the end of the first signature and the beginning of the second has this frog. And um, so I added some frog design 
and um, a little pocket. I haven't decided what I'll put in there. I think I'll make a, a tag or something. I think that would be cute. So you turn the page and um, I haven't done much with this one. I have, I'm still looking and realized I didn't have um, a lot of animal stickers and stuff. Let me see, make sure I have it all in frame. And this side, this was just um, tie dyed paper. Now these, these um, papers that I did in the second signature on the blank side of the, of the uh, scrapbook paper, I did um, napkin collage and um, some watercolor. And I love this bunny. I think it just turned out so cute. It's got really cool texture to it. On this side, I just made a little pocket and a little card that I have that has a bunny on it. And more butterflies I added with well, that one. And then this was also another napkin and I love the way it came out. I ripped it and made, you know, the collage and I love the texture. So I added a butterfly and a dragonfly to it. And on this side, I added a card I had received um, at Easter from Liz Nixon and I just thought it was so cute and I just wanted to keep it in here because I was working on this during Easter and then I love the bunny and I'll add some more stuff in here. Oh, there's a little, a little piece of glitter. Down the road, down the road, down the road he went. Look at the bunny. <laughs> this is the center of the second signature and he met a bunny and he said, where is your home? The bunny's taking him to his home. Now this one, this is a page and I made a, um, a band with some really cute um, ribbon I had. Um, it had wire in it and I pulled the wire out. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I love this um, dyed coffee filter that my friend Lori gave me. And I think it's avocado, I don't know what color, no. It's not avocado dyed, cause that turns out pink. Anyway, I just like it, it's a coffee filter, so I just, put it in there for right now. And this is the, another of the napkin collage. And he's, he's telling, the bunny is saying here, my home is under the rock. And there they are, look at them. And I have, so I said, there's more picture pages. I love how this one came out. I did the collage of just the bunny and added the yellow. Like I said, lots more to do in it. And so I added um, some butterflies and a little journaling place. And then on the very end, there they are, the bunnies are home. And there's another pocket back here. So it may have taken me a while to do this. <laughs> I'm not kidding, <laughs> but I really enjoyed it. And this is my first two signature um, journal that I made. Um, a, a cover like this on. I, it's not exactly all straight and everything, but I, I'm gonna tell you, I am right proud of it anyway. I added this little bit of lace cause I can't cut a straight line. I have already told you that so many times. So I am so excited and I hope that um, you will understand that this is a beginner, a beginner journal, but I wanted to share it with you and show you how, you know, don't be afraid to try. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. And, and I've learned so much from working on this. So I wanted to do a little giveaway because, you know, <laughs> because I had so much fun doing this and I have another copy of Home for a Bunny. And if you are interested in getting this little copy, see that's how it had the, and I made those into pockets. If you are interested in this little gold, little golden book that is a Dolly Parton Imagination Library book, um, I just need you in the comments below um, to put hashtag bunny somewhere, and we will. Um, I'll I'll draw for it, and I'll do it. Um, let's see. I'll do it on Tuesday. So if you're interested. I will be glad to send you home for a bunny and I'll even send you some, some goodies with it, some stickers and different things. So thank you so much, everyone. I had such a great time making this and, and uh, I'm going to add photos and do some other things, but for a while I need to put it up for a little bit and then, and, and move on to something else. And, um, uh, thank you all so much. 
talk to you soon. Bye now.